Hi friends, here is a Kinter application where by using this we can uh, upload or point to Excel file then the data inside the Excel file we can store it in a MySQL database or SQLite database whatever we select and that will get a confirmation message. We'll learn, let's see here it's a, it's pre I get a file browser, I can browse to a location I'm just going to this location and picked up my student table. So this student table data is say, uh, pushed to my MySQL database now. We'll learn all about this. We'll start from here. This is a blank template and I, I have to import Kinter because otherwise that is why this window will not open now. I, I'll let me import some uh, libraries. Now here they are. I am importing the Kinter here and exclusively because I want to present a file browser so the user can select it the file browser, uh, the local file. So this is for that I am importing the file dialog. Now after this you can see the pandas I am importing because this is the for my data analysis this pandas I will use this to create a data frame and then from the data frame I will push it to whatever database I want. So for that to connection to the to my database or uh, to MySQL or SQLite whatever the database I have I have imported the SQL alchemy I am using you can use other uh, libraries also <coughs> and here you can see if to catch the error messages I am importing this SQL alchemy error handling and next line I have commented this line because I will, will be starting with MySQL database and then we'll move toward SQLite. So for that this line we have commented because here we are not using SQLite right now. Then we are going for my this connection object or connection string whatever you say this we are creating by taking the user ID and password and connecting to the database name. Now with this my basic importing and uh, creating a blank window all are ready. I'm just saving this. Let's just run it and see how the blank window looks. I am not, we are not added any wizards to it also. Here it is. We'll add two components. One is for the label or to at the top the message we want to give upload file. The another one is the button which will trigger the upload. So for that L1, L1 is the label TK dot label. So my parent window is my underscore W. So this is the window we, what you have parent window we have declared uh, it at line number 10. So here it is uh, just above line number 10 we have declared. Now in that we will write some our text. So text equal to upload file and add to database whatever you want you can write it. So now slightly bigger font and width will mention. So you will write it width equal to let's give 30 then okay width is 30 now font is 18 I'm giving a bigger font here so little prominent you can change the background color all the thing else also now let me place this on a grid so I'll place it l1 dot grid so this is the first one element so whatever I can give I can give 1 or 0 now column equal to 1 now slightly pad x I am giving as uh, 5 means I am not flushing with the left edge so maintaining a gap and pad Y that is the gap from the top and the bottom component also it's 20 so slightly I am giving gap there now below that I will place a button that is what the button will be triggering so b1 equal to tk dot button my parent window my underscore w now the text sorry text I will write it what is the appear on the top of the button upload file whatever text you want add file or whatever or uh, search for excel whatever you want to write text it you write it here so then width slightly I am giving the width also 20 and the important part is the command so what should go there as command so command equal to let me okay here it is command now this is uh, lambda lambda now lambda then I will say upload file now what is upload file upload file is the function I have I am calling once the button is clicked but so far I have not declared it so I am going to declare it now before that let me place it on a grid so b1 dot grid 
now i am simply saying row equal to 2 because row 1 at the label <coughs> below that and the on the same column so column equal to 1 that's all my buttons are placed but one thing is i have to write my uh, function defining upload file fine this i have i have to code inside it before that i let me pass it so now let's just see how this window works or looks but it will not have any functionality let's just see how this is appearing here it is the text whatever i have written here at the label and the button on click this will trigger the triggering this function but i have not written any code here we'll start writing inside this function which on click will show the dialog box so for that we'll say f types these are the file types we want to the our dialog box should pick up so it's a list of uh, tuples what is the elements we'll see now so we'll say this is the message we want to give all files so this is this means all type of files now inside this i will say star dot star okay this is one option another option i will add it now while i am saying it here excel files this is the text what will appear to the users now inside what it should pick up is star dot xls x so this is the extension the excel file will have so that's what now we'll give one more so you can understand it now let's say uh, some text document also text document now here we'll say this is sorry this is star now dot txt so similarly one more will go because that will be required here you can restrict it if you don't want anything else you can restrict it to excel only so here i will say now it is csv file csv files this is the message part only now what file this message will be associated with uh, so i'll say star dot csv or the comma separated value this is the, the data format frequently used it's a, it's a one way of text format only all data rows are separated data are separated by comma so that's all this list is available let it be now i will use path i am declaring a path equal to so this is the path variable will be stored file dialog where from this has come because i have just let's move up see here at line number three i am imported file dialog kinter file dialog line number three that what i am using so file dialog now dot ask open file name fine so what is this mean is it's open the file name there is a what is the difference between ask open file and ask open file name file will create a file object now file name once i am giving i'll get a string so i am expecting only the this particular one so file types i am saying my uh, whatever the file types whatever is there equal to f types now you just try to understand here i have given the option and its value is f types what is f types f types is all this type so these are the file types it will show me and that path will be whole path will be there now here what i can do if path that means user has not clicked the cancel button and path has the it's not suppose what happened the dialog box opened and the user has clicked the cancel button so in that situation i don't want the anything code to be executed what i am doing i am calling my upd and passing the path this is another function i am calling my upd this is where our my data frame will be created and it will be it will be posted so for that let me just de declare that function define my upd and it will receive the file name as path so i have got this now let me close this and pass so up to this point you can see i will just showing a file dialog storing the path here and i am the sorry i am collecting the path what the user has created and i am just passing it to another function in fact inside this function also i can print that let's see how that print file so i receive it and i'm just printing we'll see it should print the path in the my console let's just run this and see how it works so here it is upload file 
I am browsing. Okay, so it's uh, student one. So let's just see what it is doing. You can see here it is the file data. You just watch this point. It has printed the path now. I will work inside this particular one. I will remove this. Let me move up a bit. Fine. So here I will create first the data frame or DF. DF equal to PD dot read Excel. What is PD? Read Excel is this I am using and here I am putting the file. So what's the read Excel is uh, sorry the PD is the pandas whatever I have imported here you can see at line number four it is used. So I have imported this library that library I am using it read Excel. So now this will just read the file and create the data frame DF. I have given the name as DF. So that data frame is created. Now this data frame will use it but this time we'll do one little uh, differently what you will do is will instead of directly writing it will use a try and accept code block so any error message that we can print it so it will be easy for us to identify if there is any error so I am saying try inside the try df what I will say to uh, sorry to SQL so this is another method I am using it so data frame method con connection what it is my connection my what is my connection by the way my connection is at the top you can see here here this is what I am my connection to the database at line number eight so this I am using it I will just suppose it is SQLite I will just comment this line number eight and use line number seven so the same that's why the variable or the object name I kept it as same so connection is my connection now name what should be the name of the table it should be my table now my table I have created now one more condition if exist so suppose the table is already there then I say the data you append it so if exist yes if exist then it will be if then it will be append so it will add up so what what it will do if it is exist so df now I am saying to uh, try df to SQL try okay fine now what I will do I will write the accept block I'll just paste this one you just see so I am sorry here I have to not like this I have to to SQL okay this is the error handling part suppose there is an error in this pushing the data anything that I can capture it here so where from I got this that's what is at the top you can see I have imported here at line number six this is the SQL chemi error I am module library I am connecting so that I am using it here this is a standard way of capturing the SQL alchemy error and printing that error I am printing to the console in case of error we'll see we'll create error and see that also say there is no error then what it should do it should give me a message else now I'll say L1 L1 is the label where we, we are declared at the top the big uh, font whatever we have used L1 config so I am using the uh, any option I can change by using config or it uh, configure anything so config I am changing the option of text what is written on the text I will write data is data added to table whatever you want you write it so this will change the label earlier what text was there the earlier text was reading is this upload file and add to database this text was there now once it is successful then I will this text will be replaced now in fact you, you if you want to add no let that be there one more label I I will put and that I will you can do that you can add one more wizard uh, component L2 and that text can be changed that's all that ends my code so let's just see how it works so now the data should go so but how will verify it we'll see that so I have just uh, running it upload file going to the student now open now data added to table this is the message what I am giving it data added to the table at the line number 35 that's what it is going now let's just see our PSP my admin whether the data has really gone or not this is the PSP my admin and you can see my table is created I can drop this table also let me remove this table go back here you can see the table name here I am giving to at line number 29 my table let me run this once again so let it uh, 
we'll see how that upload file student now data added to table now let me just go back to my here I will refresh it you can see my table is created this table with 35 records it's created so I can you can see here that uh, we have used a try exit block so if any error message is there one more thing is if you come here at the top just comment this line this entire source code is available for you to download it or use copy it and here it is the now I am connected to SQLite database so the same thing you just have to change the connection on line only this this is the file based so you can see this is my path where I am, my SQLite database is there in your case it may be in a different location wherever it is put the correct path the same code will work that's all friends this was a question asked so uh, better to explain it and if you are facing any difficulties or any issues or any ideas you have use the comment section below to post it I'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also please share this with your friends and thank you for watching